Captain Todd navigated the choppy waters off the coast of Somalia, unaware of the peril closing in. Suddenly, the sea was shattered by the unmistakable thud of grappling hooks hitting the ship's side. Pirates, armed and ready for plunder, swiftly boarded the vessel. Little did they know, Captain Todd had a surprising ace up his sleeve. But as the pirates advanced, their confidence began to waver when they realized the cargo they sought wasn't what it seemed. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss new stories. Todd had been fearing this moment for a long time. He had been very aware that his trading route was going through somewhat dangerous territories. He had weapons on board to defend himself, but the last thing he wanted was to turn this into a firefight. Time was ticking away as the men were getting ever closer to the edge of his container ship. Todd had to think quickly now and make a decision. Suddenly, he felt a surge of confidence. He quickly grabbed the microphone and shouted a message over the intercom of the ship. He demanded that every person of the crew come to the cafeteria below deck. He also informed them that pirates were coming on board. After that, he quickly turned off the ship and stopped it from sailing further. It was at the mercy of the ocean now, just as Todd wanted it to be. While all the crew members were following Captain Todd's orders and heading to the cafeteria, the pirates made their way on board the container ship. They did not look all too organized, but by how they had managed to get to the boat undetected, you could conclude that they had done this before. The pirates, under the leadership of Captain Jack, as he called himself, quickly came up with a plan. They wanted to try and get the most valuable items on the ship, the small things that they could transport and sell for a lot of money. The pirates decided to split up into pairs of two and three to cover more ground on their hunt for crew members. It seemed like a fine plan, but what the pirates did not know was that Captain Todd had been watching them ever since they got on the boat. Now he could first deal with that team of two and then focus on the three pirates left. But he first had to make sure everything was ready. Todd had radioed to two of his second-in-commands to lock all the other crew members in the cafeteria and then come to the control room to meet him. These pirates were not going to know what hit them. The men quickly left the room to set up their trap. The two pirates walking the deck of the ship were getting more and more unsure by the minute. They were also confused as to why Captain Jack had ordered them to go together. Both of them were very new to this line of work and had never been on a ship anywhere close to this size before. In the ship's control room, Captain Todd and his second in command, a veteran sailor named Harris, swiftly sketched out a plan, their eyes darting over the ship's blueprint spread across the table. They decided to exploit the ship's intricate layout, setting up a trap in the cargo hold where a faint clattering sound subtly amplified, could attract the unsuspecting pirates outside. The two nervous pirates, Ahmed and Yusuf, their AK-47 SL clutched tightly, crept towards the sound, mistaking the clattering for hidden crew members. Their eyes widened in disbelief at the sight of shiny new smartphones, a stark contrast to the rustic weapons in their hands. Greed momentarily overcame their caution as they forgot their initial mission, mesmerized by the glistening gadgets that promised a fortune far beyond their wildest dreams. Hidden from view, Todd and his team, hearts pounding, watched the pirates through a small gap. The lure of the smartphones proved too strong for Ahmed and Yusuf, who in a state of near delirium, began stuffing their pockets with devices, their minds clouded by visions of wealth. Engrossed in their plunder, the pirates failed to notice the quiet click of a door locking behind them, which went unheard. With a swift and silent signal, Todd gave the go-ahead. In an instant, the doors to the crate slammed shut, the sound of locking bolts echoing through the hold. Hey, Yusuf, called Ahmed mid-celebration. We're now prisoners within a cage of our own greed. This success was a vital first victory. Under the harsh fluorescent lights of the crew's mess hall, Todd quickly convened a huddle with urgency in his voice. He outlined their next move. Todd moved with purpose back to the control room, ensuring every possible communication device in the crate was jammed. He was determined that no word of their success would reach Captain Jack, leaving him in the dark and increasingly isolated. Eyes fixed on the ship's surveillance monitors, Todd watched Captain Jack and his remaining crew like a hawk stalking its prey. Gathering his crew once more, Todd's tone was firm yet calm. Stay out of sight, stay safe, we're not through this yet. 
Every crew member nodded in solemn agreement, disappearing into their hiding spots, ready for the next phase. Gained in the hushed confines of the control room, Todd reached for the radio, his voice low and steady as he contacted the Coast Guard. He relayed their dire situation with the call of a seasoned captain, his words concise, painting a clear picture of the danger aboard the vessel. Over the static-filled line, Todd detailed the scenario. Two pirates were captured, but the larger threat of Captain Jack and his armed crew was still at large on the ship. Despite having reached out for help, Todd was acutely aware that the situation was far from resolved. He constantly surveyed the monitors, his mind racing with strategies, prepared to act at a moment's notice. Captain Jack, his brow furrowed in suspicion, led his remaining men through the ship's corridors with increased caution. The absence of Ahmed and Yusuf was alarming. Their silence on the radio was out of character, and Jack's instincts told him something was amiss. Todd's mind worked overtime, piecing together a plan that would neutralize the threat without jeopardizing his crew. In the echoing corridors of the ship, Captain Jack's frustration boiled over into aggression. Come out or we'll find you, he bellowed, his voice laced with menace. He knew that time was running out and with it his chances of maintaining control over the rapidly unraveling situation. In a decisive moment, Captain Todd resolved to confront Captain Jack alone. He believed a direct, solitary approach might diffuse the situation, avoiding further violence. The crew, upon hearing Todd's plan, exchanged worried glances, their faces etched with concern. Todd equipped himself with non-lethal tools, his strategy to outsmart rather than engage in a physical fight with Captain Jack. As Todd moved closer to Jack's position, a tense, uneasy silence enveloped the ship. Rounding a corner, Todd came face to face with Captain Jack and his men. He stepped into their line of sight. The pirates, surprised by his sudden appearance, raised their weapons, but Todd's calm demeanor suggested a man not easily intimidated. After a tense minute of contemplation, Jack nodded, agreeing to follow Todd, but kept his weapon trained on him. Todd led the way, weaving through the ship's maze of containers. His eyes, however, remained alert, scanning for any sudden movement. Captain Jack's eyes narrowed, suspicion and greed warring within him. The promise of valuable loot was tempting. They arrived at the designated area, a seemingly innocuous spot amidst the labyrinth of cargo. With a subtle signal unseen by the pirates, Todd alerted his hidden crew. Todd led the pirates to a crate, artfully chosen, filled to the brim with glittering jewelry. The sight of the treasure sparked a gleam in the pirates' eyes. Two of them, unable to resist the lure, hastily began filling their bags, their attention completely diverted from Todd, who watched them closely, biding his time. While the pirates were preoccupied, Todd sent Captain Jack tumbling into a concealed hole on the deck, where members lay in wait to overpower him. The moment Captain Jack disappeared into the trap, Todd's crew sprung into action. Caught off guard, the remaining pirates stood little chance against the well-coordinated team who quickly subdued them. Each movement precise and practiced, the crew worked together seamlessly, their movements a testament to their training and unity. In a matter of moments, they had the remaining pirate under control, his arms secured firmly behind his back. On the horizon, the silhouette of the Coast Guard cutter became visible, cutting through the waves towards the ship. The sight of the approaching vessel brought a collective sense of relief to the crew. Upon the Coast Guard's boarding, Todd led them to where the pirates were detained. One by one, the pirates were handed over, including Captain Jack, who still seemed dazed by the swift turn of events. His expression, one of surprise and disbelief, was a stark contrast to his earlier confidence and aggression. The Coast Guard officers conducted a thorough debriefing with Todd and his crew. They listened intently as Todd recounted the events, nodding in appreciation of the crew's resourcefulness and courage. Their words of gratitude echoed through the ship, acknowledging the crew's bravery and the critical role they played in averting a potential disaster. 